Right, so you've just been getting wet. That's all you've been up to. Because uh, I've chased a line bike in. Look at my crotch. <laughs> hey, some people didn't need to be asked. <laughs> oh, God. Look. Oh, just yeah. Moist. Yeah, that's going to be Like the viewers at home now, eh? Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, that's weird. Yeah. Does Come anyone on. want to see my crotch? Didn't think so. Um, but what yeah. else have I been doing? <laughs> just been living life. Posted on the second channel now. Oh, exciting. I'm a real life YouTuber. I've neglected ah. my first channel to make a second channel. <laughs> Woohoo, Just baby. like a little. Oh um, my gosh, that's good. Yeah, no well good done. fun. Um, what was Potentially I say? moving into a new place. Oh, soon. yeah, yeah. When's that happening? Well, we were originally going to move into a... I move into a house slash flat. Yeah, the one that you showed me. Yeah. In Have you the, changed? In Shore Ditch. You're yeah. not doing that anymore. But we pulled out because we had a late entry, a little message from Christopher saying, do you oh. know what? I kind of want to move in with you guys. Oh, that's so, so nice. Yeah, me, Arthur and Chris could potentially be. Oh, that's be. good. When's he doing, well, is that confirmed or no? Confirmed. Yeah, um, but we haven't found a place yet. Oh, so you're starting from scratch now. Yeah, but we're looking around. We've uh, potentially got a few places to oh, go have a little so viewing good. at. but. That'd be fun. Woohoo, baby. Mm. Um, that's exciting. Don't say the area on the internet of where you're moving to, by the way. Okay. I mean, you just did. That was a place of the last... Oh, right, house, okay. But also, an area of London. You, you never you know. You said numerous times that you used to live in Clapham. Um, I don't live there anymore. And yes, I did. And um, That's just because you wanted to... Do you know, when I moved out, I bumped into... Um, a few people like uh, uh, around the time that I was literally moving out mm -hmm. I bumped into people in Clapham and yeah. I was like oh yeah I've, I've left now because I always just didn't want people to know like to know and then this girl fully went to me she went let's be honest everyone knew that you lived above Sainsbury's and she was like she was like everyone knew like I've been out and people <laughs> just talk about it and I was like, so everyone just knew where I lived this whole time. Oh, you can say it now. Max lived above Sainsbury's. I did Clapham. live above Sainsbury's, the little one. It, it was, was actually I mean, if really. If you ever watched, like, what YouTube video was it? Oh yeah. Where it was just so obvious. Oh my god, yeah, the one where I turned myself into Mickey Mouse yeah. when I got really drunk, and I literally my own editor had to go to me. Are you sure you want to post this much out there? And, and I was like, oh, oh just shit, blur yeah. the background then, <laughs> yeah. as opposed to go. Oh, we won't use that clip. <laughs> it was and so it's, funny and it's though. Just so obvious <laughs> to where you are. It was such hilarious content that I was like, I actually don't mind if I get like egged. <laughs> I was like, it's, it's so <laughs> worth it. But yeah, it was not very like good. That's why with our new house we've been, which is a. Beep. Um, nice. We've been very careful about keeping that under wraps. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, everybody. Where's that even come from? I've just had a bit of a sippy. Bit of a sippy. Of what? Do you know what I keep having? Do you know when you do something or say Sex. something? No. no right. um, do you know when you do something or say something and then it haunts you for like years to come? Well, that's your career. You've, that's. I mean, yeah, true. But I also did one yesterday with our guests. Well, in, in real time, it was like we filmed the James Buckley episode yesterday. Sorry, guys. Woo, the everything's not real. Everything's fake. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but in the episode where he's like talking about, I can't remember when, when he does his cameos. And I just said, oh, not about when you're wanking. And I just, <laughs> I kept thinking about it afterwards. And I was like, I he was such I, a nice I, man. He has yeah. kids. He was such like a, a pleasant man. Why did I have to make a joke about him wanking outside his child's school? Funny. He sort of looked at me and was yeah. like, what's he going on about? Oh, <laughs> and I, it was just one of those moments where I was like, why did I, I, just, why did I choose to I gave eye contact of, I'm so sorry about him. <laughs> 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 Literally. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, awful times. Um, but hey, ho. other things that have happened. Well, I've actually seen you since this but we never spoke about it. So we went to Soho Farmhouse yep. together, which if you don't know what that is, guys, that means you're a loser because you're NFI, not flipping invited. Nice. Um, no, it's a really cool place, isn't it? Had you ever been before? No. No, so if you don't know what Soho House is, explain it to them, George. Uh, it's basically like any other pub ever, but everybody turns their nose up at you when they see you. <laughs> so it's a members only club. <laughs> that's in London. Everyone goes, wait, can't take any pictures because, oh my God, <laughs> like, grow up, mate. Honestly, when you go in there, it's like, oh, this is what everyone's been like. Yeah. It's like the it's like the box. Everyone's yes. like, yes. Everyone's like, oh my God, it's so secretive and there's so much cool mm. things going on. It's like, no, it's not. It's mm. just like a normal place yeah. where everyone- Yeah, because you were there like, that time when Lizzo and Harry Styles were there, weren't you? Yeah, but I don't even like that Even that was so cool, but like, even that, I think when you're in a moment like that, and you've heard so much about the elusiveness. When you're actually in it, you just think like, oh, it's like life is just a I bit actively normal. would much prefer to just go to like a Weatherspoons. Yeah, you really didn't like the box, did you? 
<laughs> yeah. Baby. Even well, less so than, oh, than Max, and that's hey, saying oh, something, Because oh, 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 oh. <laughs> they're famously homosexual. Yeah, there we go. But, um... um yeah, but the, the Soho House, so it's like a members-only thing. It started in London, and it's, then it's, it's like all a, over the place. It's better than an average pub. Yeah, it, oh, it is. But, it's, it's nice, but, it's, but it's, you pay a membership as well. Yeah, and, then, and then when you go there, you have to pay for, for drinks. For everything. Like, what is, uh, that being said, uh, I potentially may be getting one soon just to use the gym. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? But that's because that's I'll so be using the shit. gym. But have you got membership? No. Have you not? No, I had it for like two months, and I never yeah, used it, and I was like, I don't you. want it. Ooh, little McBlady getting the membership, not using it. It lit. Stupid. I was just like, Money well, burns a hole in this man's well, pocket. Well, because I, I, I just didn't. I, I think if you live <laughs> near one, if yeah. you were to use if it I, for the gym, so worth it. So when it. when we said we were going to be moving to Shoreditch, I was like, oh, I'll get a Shoreditch house one and just use it for the gym. Oh yes. And then I'll be like, oh, and then I can also yeah, just use it. Like, That's it's like such a, sort a good double idea. Whammy, but yeah, I wish that I had one, so, but only like every now and again, like in this off, like really common chance where I'm like at a movie premiere, <laughs> and everyone goes out for drinks afterwards, and they're like, where should we go, Soho House? And I have to be one of the people that's like, um, can I use your membership because I don't yeah, have okay, one? Okay, but that. That's in in your head. You you've created a problem. When have mm. you ever been in a situation where people have been like, "Oh, we need to go to. We're going to go to Soho House," and not had enough people around who have a membership yeah, to be able to get. Like, never. Is, Everyone always has one. Yeah, yeah. Because the only people that would even offer it are with other people that probably have a membership. Like I would, if I was with my friends, I would never be like, "Guys, let's go to Soho House," because I know that none of us have a membership. Yeah. Whereas, like, if I'm with like all like the fancy people, then they have one. Whereas if I'm with people with like money and <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. Then... Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we went there and the night before that was the NTAs. I don't even think that I spoke to you that much about it. There was this clip that went around everywhere on the internet. Did you see it? Of um, me and Chloe Burrows. Like, yeah. so basically in the clip, it's Chloe Burrows. She must have put it on her Instagram story or something. Mm. I have no idea. And she's like filming this guy who wouldn't let her in to where the after party was for the NTAs. Oh. And then I came over and I was like, oh, like, no, she's with me. Like she can get in because she didn't have a wristband, basically. And and then there was so much like confusion about it online. The next day we go to that Soho farmhouse thing. Yeah. I hadn't even seen that the clip had been circulating on the internet. Everyone was coming up to me like, what's the tea then? Why yeah, was why, Chloe kicked out? How was that out? even tea? Oh, people were literally oh, like, why God. was Chloe kicked out? Like, was she too drunk that they kicked her out? And I was like, oh my God. So I've, I've never told this story because it, it just seemed ridiculous. I told oh, it to everyone. I'm on then. the bloody edge of my seat I'm here. the edge of your seat, baby. It's about to get real. So we were literally at the NTAs. They came around all the boxes where Chloe was, I was. She wasn't with me, but like I'd seen her in another one. Aye. And they must have given out wristbands. But a lot of people that were there like fluttered between the boxes. I hope, I hope. Uh, hey, I bet you wish you could do that, are you, George? What? Hey! What about that? Whatever dream, um, All right. Oh, that's... Uh, so all a lot right. of people just do that to socialise. So I was mostly doing that. Like, I was going yeah. to, like, you know, cheeky little finger of Charlie Marlowe over here. Like, then go, hmm. like, give Lisa Bags a little kiss on the cheek. Like, stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, just um, the usual. Just the huge. And, um... Basically, we must have missed when they gave the wristbands out and so did loads of other people. So then it came to the point of the after party and you were not allowed in unless you had a wristband. This one woman gave me one um, mm -hmm. because she said, you're well fit, here's a wristband. No, she just knew no, me uh, like, from no, TikTok and yeah. she was like, I'll give it to you. But then like loads of people didn't get them. Um, Those are like less famous people didn't get them. No, 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 no. Idea who they people were. way more famous than me <laughs> didn't get them. So. I got recognised, obviously. Of but course, loads I did. of people came up behind me, and they were, <laughs> and they were like, sort of, you know, like so they only, the, only the couple million followers, and people had no idea. Yeah, the losers, were. like nobody knows them. Like Anastasia, Saffron, nobody's ever heard of those people ever in their life. Chloe Burrows, like, what is Love Island? I've never heard of it. Um, no, like lots of people, way more like important than me, didn't get them as well. So then, shut up. Um, so <laughs> That's then, so much more important <laughs> than I am. Shut the fuck up. So then. We like get to the entrance and they're like, no, this guy told Chloe, if you go outside, there's a guy who's giving out wristbands. I'm pretty sure that this person was just trying to get Chloe to leave the NTAs. No idea That's why. That's understandable. Because when, as soon as you stepped out of the L2, there was a crowd of paparazzi and like fans waiting for pictures. So Chloe, absolutely hilarious moment. Obviously Chloe, like who else would do this? Obviously only Chloe would like while she's had a drink, walks out with her shoes in her hand like wristband guy, wristband guy, like where's the wristband guy? <laughs> then realizes that she's basically been lied to and everyone's watching this happen. And then she tries to get back in and the guy's like, you don't have a wristband, you're not allowed physically into the L2 anymore. Even though he just watched her like walk two steps out. Yeah. So then everyone was just watching her like get 
basically told off by this guy. And I was like, is no one going to go and help her? I was like, she's like, the paparazzi were like taking pictures. I was like, we're going to wake up and it's going to be like, Chloe Burrows kicked out of NTAs. So I went over and I was like, oh no, she's with me. Like, it's fine. She's like, she's got a wristband. Um, and that was it. And then they let her in. Well, they let, well, even though they saw her leave the place. And then, mm. like, oh, I, they didn't let her into the after like, party, like, to my knowledge. I don't like, know. Security, like, oh, it was, it was ridiculous. Things are so weird. Yeah, it was man. so... But then, like, the, the next morning, it was like Chloe Burrows booted out of NTAs. And then everyone was saying I was on drugs as well. How People were like, I have no idea. They must have seen me, like, shooting up in the back. Um, <laughs> 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 what does shooting up mean? What do you shoot up? Heroin. heroin yeah oh my god yes they saw me shooting back? up in the back i don't know why i always just put it in my back yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah heroin time <laughs> there's an easy to access vein i'll just pop it in there <laughs> oh no i didn't do that but yeah wild times yeah and then we went to soho farmhouse that was such a wild trip because oh it was so ho wild it, oh, 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 baby. <laughs> everybody in the audience then yeah, just went wild they did they really did um i remember there was one point in the night do you remember when we all ended up in that girl's hotel room bless oh, her she was from the, she was from love island like most nights end up <laughs> do you know what she was called i've completely forgotten i think she was called ella she was so sweet mm. i didn't watch this season but i i've i'd heard that she was like really lovely did she win it? Maybe she won it. God, I have no honestly. idea. But anyway, we were in her hotel room because basically the like festivities ended at around, what was it, like 12 or something? Something like that, yeah. We all went. And then things got really weird. I just remember at one point yeah. being like, this is weird. That's what I I sort of, I did an Irish exit. Yeah. And I, 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 went, I mean, good boy, no. <laughs> and ran out. No, I, I, I uh, slowly just backed out and yeah. just walked off because I was into like, a this pot is... of Guinness. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it uh, was like. I saw a pot of gold and I thought, that's that's got my name on yeah, it. Yeah. I remember, we, well, there was like 30 of us in this room. Mm. Bear in mind, so the bar closed, like Soho bar closed yeah. and everything. And then they were like, oh, but like, let's just go back to someone's room. Like, we all had alcohol individually in our rooms. Of course we did. So everyone was like, yeah, what we'll do is we'll all go to our rooms, get a bit of alcohol, then bring it to her room so it doesn't all get charged to her room. Yeah. We all literally, <laughs> do you know, Yayan yeah. was making me die, like literally making me piss myself because he was like, oh, no, I don't give a fuck, babe. Don't know what accent that was. No, that was I tried pretty much bang on. You babe. didn't even have to no, say the he's name. Well, no, he's, well, he's Welsh, isn't he? I can't do it anyway. No, go on again. You got it. Oh, I can't. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not ben doing it. Ben and Hobie. Ben and Hobie. But um, basically, he was literally just <laughs> popping bottles in her room, like all under her name. Wow. He was like, every two seconds, I'd look over and he'd go, anyone wants more champagne? And I was like, are you paying for this? Because like, this poor girl is like, but it yeah. was making me die. Um, and then we we started playing like games. Yeah, this is when I was like, this is this is a bit it weird. It was now. weird. It was literally like, right, we're gonna like go around, and then someone has to play. It was playing twenty one. Yeah, like twenty one and like truth. And I remember that they twenty one. Made... Can you do some for me? Yeah, <laughs> stop playing that stupid <laughs> game. And they made we're, we're all like... like like the youngest there was like twenty. Yeah, like even yeah, that George. that's too old. Yeah, it was it was bizarre. Like picture. Like 20 influencers, like Love Islanders in one room, all paying like <laughs> truth or dare. And you would think that that would be like the most risque thing ever, but it was literally oh, just like, so kiss the person on the cheek who you fancy the most. And it was like, so oh, odd. it was really weird. weird. And it, I looked back in the morning, and I was like, what the fuck was going on there? Like, that was so weird. But uh, we had a fun man, time. You insisted on staying until Oh, like I was 4 there till like 4 a.m. literally. <laughs> oh, I, I had a ball. I had literally a ball. Some people were there up to like half six. Odd. Wild. 